there is still the moral responsibility that we all have, that we should all have to Belize, which is what we have seen over the years, Belize have suffered over and over brain drain of people who think that they can just take what they want and then find better employment or greener pastures, so to speak, in another place. I think it is incumbent on Mr. Perdomo, wherever he is, to come and make right what he has done. And that is to return the $40,000 to the government. Man, we could use $40,000. The government needs that. And I, and, I, and I believe with all due respect to my prime minister, this one, he should make sure he collects that money from that man. With that submission, Mr. President, I, we, the church, have said no to that, that thing. Senator Rock quoted a Supreme Court case that has specifically decided on a similar point, and the Supreme Court has ruled in a previous similar instance that this is a specialty, and the limitation period is 12 years. I don't know where last school the Attorney General gone to. Excuse me, Honor. Senators, excuse me, senators, excuse me, senators, Mr. President. senators, senators. I have the senators. Floor. He has had his turn to speak. And what he has represented to, to the Senate he has is not what correct. Say. Senators, senators. It's a 211 contract, that's a 1976 case. How can it be the same thing? Senators. How can a court in 1976 say senators. what this contract means? Come on, Misha. Mr. President, please, he has had his turn to speak. And he is one. being disingenuous and he has misrepresented to the Senate. That is senators, what he has done. Senators, it doesn't matter. Senators. Make no mistake about it, Mr. President. The opposition is clearly making politics out of this right half motion. Strictly politics. Mr. Peridomo's son should not be treated any in any special way, simply because he's Mr. Peridomo's son. No special treatment must be given to him. But then you shouldn't treat him differently than you would treat anybody in this situation either, simply because he's Mr. Peridomo's son. The government, as is standard in these cases, when it believes it cannot get back the money it has put forward, would write it off. And I would like to, to, to mention to, to Pastor Rock, it doesn't mean that Mr. Peridomo, Joshua Peridomo, has gotten away scot-free. You think that Mr. Peridomo could ever work for the public service again or, or, or get any serious job in the public service again if he fails to make good on this? A writing off doesn't mean that you cannot use it still as a bargaining chip at some point in the future. We can still get back the money. Unless Mr. Perdomo has accepted that he will never return to Belize and never work for Belize again. This matter is not being raised only because it's Joshua Perdomo that is under the scrutiny. The fact is that if it were Joshua Smith, no Joshua Smith could get $40 bond for go study nowhere. Mr. President, you have to either be one minister's son or, 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 or a political affiliate to be able to get things like this, Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. Joshua Perdomo has a moral responsibility to pay back this money. And I would hope that he would be urged by anybody who can urge him to pay back this money.